how the hell am I supposed to breastfeed two little babies? Yeah. Two little babies by my own. Okay, it's different for every mother, I know that. But for me, for me, it's really, really hard. And breastfeeding can be really, really, really hectic, especially for a first time mama having multiples like myself. I have twin daughters, two twin daughters, and they really, 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 really are hungry all the time. So I'm really having a hard time breastfeeding them at the same time or even at different times, but my milk supply is sometimes not enough for them. So that's why I have a lot of strategies or different strategies that I use to increase my breast milk supply so that they can be enough for my babies. So personally, I've been using different strategies for increasing my milk supply in my body. And sometimes I use my own breast milk to feed my babies, but sometimes, obviously, I use the infant formula to make them more full. You know, this 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 is not enough for them. It's just, just sometimes not enough for them, okay? So I must use infant formula sometimes, and most of the time, I just use my breast milk. So when using my breast milk, I have a lot of, uh, of things that I do in order to increase the milk supply but one of them is breast pumping and breast pumping is a really 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 good technique for you and for me also it's been working and making my milk very 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 much larger uh, compared to breastfeeding alone so before breast pumping there's a lot of tips and a lot of preparation that I have to do before breast pumping so that they can get a lot of milk from my <coughs> So I'll be showing you guys what I do before I breast pump, the things that I do, the tips that I use, and that might help you too get a lot of breast milk or get a lot of milk supply for your beautiful babies. So let's get started. So guys, the first step about your breast pump or your breastfeed, whatever the case is from when you are home, we're very hydrated. It's not hydrated, we get something, something liquid. Ningi, even when you wear, now I'll be my out. So, as I've told you, this is my routine before breast pumping, and mostly if you want to breast pump, not breastfeeding, because I'm most of the time you want to talk So, if you ever I breastfeed, it's for wherever I breast pump. So, that's the first step. So, here at Tayari, I've already made my, my porridge, as you can see. Yeah. My porridge and skito mbushu na mkisa kwenye porridge ili yeze kuwa more effective ni hiya ba black pepper au kwa other words meza kujitia pili pili manga wa pengi maifahamu na itunika ya chukengi sana sana wale mda wa mwezo ramadhan so you can use this kwenye ujua ko kwenye chai I don't know anybody yeze kutengeneza a lot of milk on your body so this is the one that I use black pepper hiya kwa naeka kilogo kwa kini nchi kini nchi kilogo I just add a little bit of black pepper from my porridge like this. And then I throw that and it's, it, it's ready, ready for cooking. Yummy! But that's the basic step wa pezuro. Unatuko wa kishe mwilo wako wako hydrated. Nikisema hydrated kama nivu ambia uwe na maji maji. So you can drink juicy, uji, anything ambacho kini maji maji inafaa. Ichwe kita saidia maziwa kwa mengi saidi na ku saidia kutengeneza maziwa. All the time! So it's currently... 7 o'clock in the afternoon and my, my beautiful daughters, my beautiful children are asleep right now and I'm actually preparing my body for breastfeeding them when they get up. So you know when they get up they just want to eat, eat and eat and eat and eat. So that's what I'm doing right now, preparing my body, make sure, making sure I'm very hydrated when they get up and that way they can get a lot, a lot of milk from me. <laughs> Woo. So personally, I use a manual breast pump, and this is because using an electric breast pump has been can be really tiresome, and it can take a lot of a lot of energy from you, drain a lot of energy from you. But if you're preferring to use an electric breast pump, that's that's up to you. But personally, I love using this manual 
breast pump because it gives me room to know what what amount of milk i want and to what extent i want to breast pump myself so that's why i love using this manual breast pump and i'm using the silicone one as you can see this one is the silicone manual breast pump so i'm going to quickly uh, align my tools as you can see I've, I've already washed them and they're already clean and make sure before you're doing this you wash your hands so that you cannot put any bacteria in your in your tools before starting to breast pump so i'm going i'm going to just mantle up these things really quick and then i can move on to breast pumping So as you can see guys, I'm done mantling up my breast pump and I'm going to be using this to uh, get milk out of my ah, before the babies wake up. So I usually breast pump and then breastfeed or breastfeed and then breast pump. So these two just go along together because when you breast pump, it makes your body know that the milk is needed. So it needs to produce more milk. So that's what the process is. So, or, or when you just breastfeed your baby and you breast pump afterwards, it makes your body make a lot of milk uh, instead of just breastfeeding and leaving your boobies just the way they are. So it's best for you to either breast pump, then breastfeed or breast pump after every meal and after after breastfeeding the baby breast pump the milk so that it can be uh it can make a lot of milk afterwards so let's get started with this so guys the first thing before breast pumping make sure you have taken a glass of water or a glass of really smooth juice that way you can make your body to be really hydrated as i've told you before and uh make sure also you have a good posture before starting uh, to breast pump yourself so i'm i'm going to use this as my support while breast pumping and i'm going to start so when using a manual breast pump you make sure uh, your posture is okay that's why i've told you you, you must you must look for something to support your posture so and also you should make sure that your whole nipple area is greatly or massively inserted in the silicone area of the breast pump that way you can get a lot of milk from all over the breast so that's how i'm going to be doing my breast pumping and i usually do this for almost 10 to 15 minutes in order to get adequate milk that i really want and not also to over drain myself from energy by breast pumping so let's get started guys oof, i'm really exhausted almost exhausted and this is the amount of milk i've been able to get from uh my left this is my left side yeah from my left breast and it's almost 90 something milliliters of milk as i've told you i always do this before or after breastfeeding my baby so right now i have not yet breast breastfed them and i'm going to breastfeed them right after this okay so i'm going to do the same for my right breast uh and I've, I've as i've told you i've done this for almost 10 minutes and this is just the amount i've ever been able to get <laughs> so that's it maybe maybe oh, my my breast don't have that much milk so yes i'm going to to do the same for my right breast and then uh i'll go on breastfeeding my babies starting with the formula I mean not the formula starting with the milk that I've pumped and then I'll move on to breastfeeding them manually over here so that I can allow my body to rest allow my body to generate more milk in the meantime so that's basically it guys and that's my way of feeding my babies as I told you I breastfeed I 
breast pump and also I keep my baby's infant formula. So that's my way. You can have your way of feeding your baby as long as your baby is healthy, as long as it doesn't give your baby any problems with his or her stomach, okay? Especially her stomach because when a baby is, is having stomach problems, that's when it starts getting really crazy in the house. If you know what I mean, they'll start crying, they don't rest, they'll not be healthy, okay? So just make sure whatever you're giving your baby, whatever method you're using, it's just okay for your, for your baby's stomach. So that's how I do it. Maybe you have your own way of doing it. That's fine as long as the baby is okay. So see you guys next time. I love you. Mm.